Hey moms, this is Rachel Jones and I'm with the Help Club for Moms team. I'm here to talk to you today about Easter and how you can celebrate this incredible holiday with your kids. The first thing I want to focus on is something you can start doing right now. Uh, you don't even have to start this the week before Easter. It is something that's not necessarily focused on Easter, but it's focused on Jesus. And my girls, when they were younger, really liked the Jesus Storybook Bible, which I'm sure all of you have heard of, but what you might not have is the audio for it. It is fantastic. I received a copy of the book that came with the audio. You can get this on Amazon. The audio is done by a guy who's really phenomenal. He also narrates the um, Chronicles of Narnia that Focus on the Family does. It's really powerful. He has an amazing accent. I highly recommend obviously reading the book but doing the audio with your kids. It's really easy to get into the habit of listening to it in the car, listening to it during quiet time if your kids do that, maybe before bedtime, but it's a really good way to get in the spirit um, and the mindset of Jesus and that the concept of that is that every story whispers his name and everything goes back to Jesus, which Easter is all about, of course. So a couple things that we do leading up to Easter, we do what's called resurrection eggs and it's a countdown to Easter. You start that 12 days before and every single day you have an egg and it has a number on it and then you open the egg. You can open it in the morning, at night, whatever time works for your family. And inside, I've done with um, a little printout that has a Bible verse and then you have some sort of tangible item that you can put in the egg that goes with it. So this day the focus is nails and so you put an old nail in there, your kids would touch the nail and as they're touching the nail, you read the scripture about the nails going in Jesus' hands. And every single day there's a different scripture or um, a different, sometimes it's not a scripture, but it's just a little story. They're called resurrection eggs, and we actually have a DIY version of it on our website at helpclubformoms.com. Also, if you Google resurrection eggs, there's just so many options available. You can even buy complete made sets for you from Christian bookstores. But I have found that it's a really, really fun activity. The kids look forward to it um, the 12 days before Easter, and um, it gets you guys really anticipating the big day. Uh, the morning of Easter, we always have resurrection rolls for breakfast. You can also incorporate those, um, incorporate those into your Easter brunch. Resurrection rolls are super easy, and if you have a kid who's older than three, they can completely do it themselves. They're crescent rolls, basically, with a marshmallow, and the marshmallow represents Jesus, and the crescent rolls the tomb, and as the food bakes, the marshmallow melts away. Again, there's also a recipe for that on our website. Really, everything I'm saying, there's a... There's a um, just way to incorporate all this. All the information is on our website. If you want to see this in person, helpclubformoms.com. Um, resurrection rolls are another fun tradition. My girls look forward to it. It really is a great visual for the tomb being empty. And the, the children can take the marshmallow and put the marshmallow in the tomb and then the, the marshmallow disappears. It's really powerful and extremely yummy and we love doing resurrection rolls. Uh, something that actually my daughter just reminded me of a few minutes ago, because she's filming this video, is that I did one year, and I haven't done it since, but I need to do it again, a really fun scavenger hunt to get to their Easter baskets. So I just found that online, and I just Googled it, and there were clues and hints that led the kids to their Easter basket, and so it, it had them running around the whole house, and then eventually they got to their basket, which is filled with wonderful goodies, and I often try to put things in their Easter basket that's uh, focused on the Lord one year, which I don't have it anymore. I think I got rid of it. There's a fantastic Veggie Tales video called An Easter Carol, and that's really great for, I would say, three to eight year olds. It's really fun. It's a fantastic story. I put that in their Easter basket one year. You can obviously put nice devotionals, junior Bibles. There's, there's a lot of really great ideas. Um, but really, moms, the main reason we do this is because Jesus said that he has come so we may live and live life to the full. And a full life is a life lived in Christ. And we are the absolute best person to model that for our kids and to help our children really see that it's not just about the Easter basket and the Easter bunny um, and obviously getting dressed up. Those are fun things, but Easter is all about Jesus rising from the dead and he is alive in us. And it's our job to remind our children of that. I really wanna encourage you guys uh, to start some of these traditions. If your kids are older and you feel like, oh no, it's too late, it's never too late, even just incorporate reading a nice Easter story. Um, a couple of my favorites, one that I love, well, I have a daughter named Lily, so it's called The Parable of the Lily, um, and that's by Liz Curtis Higg, and that's a fantastic book. 
completely spiritual, all about um, the lilies coming up in spring and how that represents new life. Another really fantastic book is called The Legend of the Easter Egg, and that is by Lori Wahlberg. Um, that's another great one that takes the Easter egg, which is a modern, um, fun tradition, but then incorporates it and shows how it's actually related to Jesus. Um, but I'm really excited for you guys to celebrate Easter this year. I know that I can't wait to do a couple of new things with my girls and continue on with our old traditions. Now, have a really good week, moms, and I'm going to be praying for you. Bye.